Hey, what's up? This is Etech Master Twenty Two, and as you know from Intel, I'll be installing Mac OS Ten Point Five Lever on this iMac G Four. This is the part two of the iMac G Four upgrade. So, if you haven't watched the first part yet, I highly recommend it to you to watch it first, or else that doesn't make any sense. Well, since I don't have any dual layer disk, how I will install Leopard is off this USB key. And I'm going to show you to you the installation process. First, let's power on Mac. It's loading. So all you can see the dock here, the top bar, and even the background. So, first I need to insert the USB key into this slot. And wait a second. Why it doesn't blink? Ah, there we go. Okay. So, install Mac OS then. Well, So, once I click restart, I will not use this version of Tiger installed on my RNG4. So, I'm gonna say on this particular Mac. So, you start. Oh, yeah, the password. So, enter, no more tiger in this machine. Now, it's blowing up from the USB key, as you can see there, well, you can't, not, you can't see really. Um no. And now why it doesn't it's not booted up from the USB key, but I'm gonna do it from my own. Well I'm gonna restart Maybe this time it's the last time we see Tiger in this machine. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, restart.
hold the option key okay well at least I can boot from the USB maybe not but it's gonna load it's loaded it took like I don't know 10 seconds but this is awkward app logo appears let's see if it boots up from the USB key Well, it takes longer to boot, but I'm going to keep you updated. Good news there. Now it's finally booted to the Mac OS X installation. So, use English. Yeah. Well, I backed up everything I need. Well, continue. I agree. And I'm going to erase. And we're going to select what we want to install. Printer drivers. No. Language translation. No. X11. If you really want that, yes. And additional fonts, of course. Done. Install. What's really interesting, I think, is that it doesn't check the disk before installing after Leopard so I'm going to keep you updated one thing I forgot to mention is that booting from the USB installing from the USB is way faster than installing from the CD it's we can see the bar is currently really moving so fast and the timer keeps going down well not now but I'm pretty sure this will finish soon I'll keep you updated once it comes to the end well ah, okay so Let's restart and wait for the magical intro to come out. Okay, it booted up. We should see the app logo up here. Well, yes, it appeared. It's loading. The intro yeah so cool
Okay. Well, okay, country, Canada. Yes, that's my Canadian French layout. So now I need to end transfer information thing. Okay. Enter my password. Apple ID. I'm hiding the Apple ID in my, in my hand so it can connect. I'm gonna leave that. Well, registration. I'm gonna enter all that. So, a few more questions. I will use this computer at home. What I do, other. And no, I didn't want to stay in touch. Okay, I'm gonna create my account. Password. And the password hint. I'm going to enter. Don't even try so that's it continue well that's where I live Well, yes, it's the correct time. Continue. And don't forget to register. Enjoy your Apple computer. Done. I want to see Mac OS X Leopard working. Yeah, that's cool. It works, and I'm pleased with it. So it works fine. There's even the time machine. It's just cool. I really feel it like a new system. Okay, I'm gonna set up right now. Space it. have only four space to activate space well, put F13 to switch um, option to have space nothing and okay we're done but first the most important thing 
one one uh, quarter gigahertz power PC G4 processor and of course one and a half gigs of RAM. So I think that's it for this video. I'm just going to check out the new dashboard, cool finder. It has really changed. Yeah. Desktop, I don't have anything. Yeah, I have have this new cover flow mode. I remember when watching the Mac OS X Leapart presentation. I saw that. Oh yeah, stacks, of course. How did I forget this? Downloads. Well, I think that's it for this video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.